everybody out there on Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosted GS. We got another scorecard reaction for you guys. Actually, actually, this one's a little bit different. All right. So this time we come, we're doing the Lord's work. You guys have been so beautiful and so kind to me through and through. Uh, just nothing but beacons of positivity with this Nightwish community. But I have noticed that there is one glaring flaw throughout everything that you guys do. And that is this un insatiable desire to fight over who the best singer in Nightwish is. And I figured who better than myself to come in and end the, this is going to be my gift for you. This is going to be my gift back to the Nightwish community. This is going to be the definitive argument for who is the best Nightwish singer. And I, I put minutes of research into this. I really did. I, I did. I walked so far and wide. Uh, I talked to like four different people and we got like different opinions, but we're going to separate all that. So here's what I want you to do right now. If you think that you're going to be triggered or offended or something like that, I just click off. This isn't for you. All right. This is for the scientists out there in Nightwish. They want to get down to the nitty gritty. No opinions right? Just facts. So we can get a definitive answer on who the greatest Nightwish singer of all time is. And we will finally get the answer. It's going to be uh, either Floor, uh, Tarja, uh, or the other one. And we're going to go and we're going to break everything down that we can. And whoever gets the most points by the end of it, uh, they're going to be deemed the champion. And by, by watching this video, you agree to never fight or argue about this again. We're gonna we are gonna unite. We're gonna unite the Nightwish community, uh, and we're gonna be a big happy family after this. There's not gonna be any more arguments. There's not gonna be any more fights in the comments. There's not gonna be any more like uh, trolling or anything like that. So let's do it. Uh, let's start. Let's start at the beginning, right? So let's break down uh, Tarja. So when Tarja was originally in like Nightwish and stuff like that. Uh, we got to figure out what we're going to give her points for and what we're going to deduct points for, right? Uh, number one, mostly opera singing, right? That's, that's Everyone says that, mostly opera singing. Let's be honest, opera is a dead genre, right? The last person that listened to an opera, I think, was Lincoln. And he got killed for it, and I don't think anyone's been to the opera since then. I think that was the last opera play ever that anyone's ever done. So she can't get points for that, right? She did dress dope, right? I like the way that she dressed. Uh, and I think she moved around the stage. Her choreography was a little bit better uh, than Floor's. I haven't seen anything from the other one. Uh, so we're going to be going just based off of facts and statistics that other people told me. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll give her a little bit. I like the way she moves and sings and sways and stuff like that. Um, she has a really nice part in her hair from the one or two things that I've seen of her. I thought that was really dope. So she definitely gets, bing, get a, give her a point for that. Um, longevity, right? I mean, I think she was in it for a while in the beginning. And you get points for being the originator, right? If you created it, like, Tarja came up and just, like, I'm pretty sure she created Nightwish in and of herself. Uh, it was, like, her idea originally when it first started. So, like, none, like... You get so many points for that. You get at least five points for that because the rest of them wouldn't even have jobs if she didn't create the idea for Nightwish to begin with. So you get a lot of points for that. Um, what else are we going to give her points for uh, as far as the, the vocal range, stuff like that? Oh, also, if you notice how she's able to get words to sound really loud with her mouth to like open really wide as opposed to the other ones where it doesn't their mouths don't get as wide when making the sounds come out larger do you, you know what i mean so like we're definitely going to give a point for that now we'll go on to the second one um what the fuck was her name uh all right annette so then annette was the second one uh annette Apparently never did well live. She like chokes during all of the live performances. Um, so like your your choke ratio. I come from a battle rap background. If you choke on stage, like that's pretty much it. So she starts off with minus seven points. So she's starting off weak in the race with minus seven. But I've also been told that her studio quality was really really good. And she has like an album, uh, Imaginarium or some shit like that, right? That's supposed to be like top notch. So she does get a point for that. Plus like, if it came down to a beef, 
you want to have somebody in your corner that's really good on wax. So if she's good with like the engineering and stuff like that, uh, maybe we put a little bit of auto-tune on, uh, auto -tune on her voice. Maybe we can get something like really fly going with her like that. She could do uh, a comeback tour with T-Pain. I think that could like really project Nightwish into an entirely different hemisphere that they're just not able to reach right now and actually have a much larger fan base. So the fact that there's the opportunity for a T-Pain collab I think is really important. Uh, probably goes above and beyond for the points. So probably like, do you want to say it negates? It might actually negate the points uh, for, for not actually like being good live and able to sing. So that's that's good. Uh, and then we got floor. So what are we going to give floor points for? So we're, we're going to go through a couple different brackets here. Floor, uh, she's current, right? So she's like, she's definitely like, I, I don't know, like the media favorite. She's the, she's almost as popular as like Taylor Swift. She's kind of like the goth rock Taylor Swift, but like just like one notch below. So like you get a lot of points for that, for just like social media clout. You know what I mean? She's definitely, she's like the Takashi 6 9 of rock and roll because everyone just talks about her. Everyone's always like fighting about who the best is. She's very controversial like that. So definitely gets points for that. Huge clout chasing. We love clout chasing uh, just right now in media with how everything is. Uh, as far as the songs go, I think she has the best production value. Like if you look at Tarja and the stuff that they did with her, it was all done on a potato, right? Uh, no one's ever even seen Annette perform. She might not even be real. Like, I don't know that there's any footage of her anywhere on the three videos that I watched before making this. I didn't see anything with her even in it. And then you have Floor, who comes in and is just kind of like this social media guru of all of it, right? So you get the higher quality red stuff. You got to get credit for that. Two points. Two points, my girl, for having the higher quality res, right? Now, that gives you kind of like a baseline for everything. Right now, I'm not really sure that that's enough to solve it, right? Because if you want to know who's best girl, that's what we're trying to figure out. Who is best girl? You got to dig deeper, right? We got to dig deeper. Who would win in a fight? I'm not going to say that Floor is a man, but she's six foot something, right? And I'm pretty sure she get hit like one. If it came down to like a free for all and the three of them went at it, uh, I'm pretty sure that they would forget Annette was there so she wouldn't get hit at all. Uh, Tarja would probably get fucking rocked. She's probably old now, too. Like, she was the originator. I think she's, like, 74 at this point. She kind of looks like the, uh, you know, ever see the Titanic? Where she's like, it's been 84 years. So, like, I think Floor comes in, Molly whops her, uh, then Annette and her kind of, like, just agree that it's not worth beating Annette up. I think Floor gets a point for that. So, in the Grand Battle Royale, I think Floor sweeps. Plus, all of her stuff looks like armor, so she gets drip gear. You know what I'm saying? Her drip game is fucking dope. So plus one point for that. Uh, I think really the big swing shifts come from, like, if it came down to, like, Mario Kart. Uh, Annette can't sing, so she has to be doing something with her time. I think it's video games. I think Annette gets clear victories in Mario Kart, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Brawl, Super Smash Brothers. Like... I think she's getting all of those points. That's five points right there. Easy. Easy five points for Annette. I think she's the sleeper. I think Annette might be the sleeper in this competition. Uh, if it came down to chess, chess is kind of boring, right? What does boring remind you of? Opera. Who's good at opera? Tarzaha. And then if you take that, that's giving her an easy point in checkers and connect four because they're all kind of the same thing. I think the Tarzara comes and sweeps everything as far as the board games go. That's probably like seven points right there, right? So now she goes, maybe propels into the lead with that. Uh, combat sports, floor is sweeping. So she's getting the American Gladiator. She's getting Ninja Warrior. She's crushing everyone in Ninja Warrior. Probably doesn't even need to jump that high. Just like walk over a lot of the obstacles. So she's getting all of those points. Uh, I think if it came down to basketball, I'm pretty sure Floor can dunk. She's getting that point. Uh, rodeo stuff. I think rodeo stuff is again all going to Floor. She looks equestrian to me. Annette, uh, I don't have the stats in front of me right now. 
but I think someone told me that she's really small. She probably makes the best jockey. She's getting all the equestrian points for jockey stuff. I don't know what that's called, but those horse racing guys, I think the smaller you are, the faster your horse can go. She's getting all of those points right there. Um, old school chicks for how old uh, Tarja is, I think she probably fails when it comes to a lot of like mechanics and shit like that. Because like the old school people, they had like more of the housewife. You know, she's more of a housewife situation. Plus, I was talking to Trinx. Shout out, shout out to the whole Discord. And they all kind of like helped me and gave me their two cents about this. They said this would be a really good idea to like settle the beef with everybody. Uh, they seem to think that that's going to be more like what Annette brings to the table. Because Annette's not really like talented or not really like skilled or like a real person. So she's going to be able to do more of the like mechanical thing she could probably fix your car really well you want to like that's points you get points for being able to fix my car my girl like that's dope i'm there for that um what are the other things i feel like annette is also kind of like better with animals for some reason i don't have a good reasoning for that but like if you're just looking at the statistics and the facts and you take opinions out of it she's probably like a really good dog breeder and like trainer with like the whistles and shit like that like she can't sing so i feel like she's definitely proficient with whistles so you got to give like you get dog points jaguar points you get elephant points you get all kind of at like there's a lot of animals um no one like ever goes to her concerts so like you get cricket points she probably got mad clout in the cricket community that's important right so now we got her it's gonna be close it's gonna be close my guys uh are we forgetting anything super important? All right. We're going to do some math real quick. Let's add up the points. Let me get a little calculator out. It's close. We got a close one. All right. Pause right here. Get your votes in. Don't pause yet. Wait till I finish the sentence and then pause. So get your votes in. Who do you think is going to win best Nightwish singer Front girl, best girl, lead singer of Nightwish. Pause here. Drop down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? I'm excited. Also, if you haven't unsubscribed yet, subscribe. If you haven't blocked me, <laughs> if you haven't blocked me yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, little bell notification guy. All of it helps. I appreciate it. I love you guys. We as a community, we're solving problems here, right? Uh, so let's go give you a second to do that. Here he goes. Without a doubt, definitively, the best number one girl frontline singer of Nightwish is Troy is Heavy Queen. That's it. That's it. It was never a competition to begin with. Every one of you who gets super mad and fight in the comments, you all look dumb. You look like idiots. And I get tired of seeing it. And it's hilarious to me. So we wanted to make a video to kind of cool your jets off a little bit you sound foolish in the comments i'm tired of reading it grow up stop caring about what other people on the other side of the country think about this band you look dumb you look dumb all right uh plus true what the fuck was that that was terrifying i'm gonna look at that on the playback and see what that was uh for everybody else that was able to laugh and have a good time with this i love you guys and Hopefully, this helps you guys not look bad when, <laughs> when you have these assholes in the comments coming in here and ruining everything. And if you just, oh my god, let's just take a second and let's just, let's just look at all the people right now who have like just veins popping out of their head and are going to be screaming in the comments and are going to be so angry at this. I love it. This is what we're here for. Uh, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for coming here and playing with me. We, got, we have... Hopefully I put Troy on the screen. We got the Heavy Queen on the screen for uh, a majority of this. Maybe I should move over more one way or the other. All right. I will catch you guys on the next one. I love y'all and whatever. See you guys later.